안녕하세요. 저는 노키입니다. And welcome to today's video where we are going to be reacting to some more Everglow. And today, we have got their brand new comeback pirate. Now today, bro, we are going to be sent to the fucking moon and beyond. We are literally about to fling ourselves out of this solar system because Everglow are space pirates and they are absolutely insane. Everything that we have seen from these teasers so far has been nothing short of phenomenal. And I have loved absolutely everything that we have heard. I've listened to the highlight medley a ridiculous amount of times, even though I have said multiple times that I would not listen to it more than once or twice and yet here I was literally replaying it in VC over and over and over and over and over again and listening to it literally whenever I had the time so I am so pumped for this album I'm going to be reacting to it over here on Twitch tonight so of course if you guys want to catch that come and obviously check it out if you happen to obviously be watching this intro and see after the reaction that I'm, I'm currently live over on Twitch if not if you do miss it go and check out the Patreon because you will find all of Everglow's discography plus this brand new album over there and I'm very excited to add this album to it and listen to it now everything that i have seen so far from everything as far as this choreography is concerned as far as this outfits are concerned as far as this song is concerned as far as aisha is concerned as far as onda is concerned i'm just gonna go insane so i take literally no responsibility for whatever the fuck is about to happen no responsibility whatsoever i really don't care what the hell is about to happen because this group is insane i've said it multiple times i alt their discography because it is insane it is insanity. I'm still yet to alt the group just because I need to know so much more about their personalities and just them in general, right? I need to watch more of their reality and their variety. I really need to get on that. But dude, this group, their music is insane. Unparalleled. I love it. So without any further ado, let's give it a massive old like. Let's go full screen and let's start our reaction in 3, 2, 1. I'm not fucking ready. Let's go. The masks. The dancers. Oh, you yeah. do Oh, my lord. Ooh. Come be my lunatic? Yo, Aisha. Yo. Ba, ba, ba. Mia. Dude, her. Her hair. Pirate. Yeah, yeah. A pirate. Yeah, yeah. A pirate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Hey. Oh, shit. Dude, Mia looks so amazing. Hey. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Turn it up! Oh, okay! Oh! 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 Yo! This is early 2010s EDM vibes! Shiyun! Oh my god! Hey, hey! Oh my god! Yo, I might cry. Oh my god! A pirate! Yeah, yeah. Yo. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh! 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 Oh, 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 oh. Yo, I'm I'm speechless. I'm fucking speechless. Shoot us. Oh. Oh my God, the the, the graphics. That's my bias. These two are my bias. Oh my god! Oh! Yo! Oh my god! Yo. What? What? Yo, this has so much to it. Hey, hey. Oh. 
Yo, this is a festival song. A pirate, yeah. Pirate, yeah, don't throw. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Oh my dear lord. No, I... Oh. oh man. Man, you know what this just put me back in? This literally just put me back in 2013. This just put me back in 2013, man. Like, this put me back in 2012, 2013. I'm at an EDM festival. You've got Hardwell, Zed, Avicii, Swedish House Mafia. Oh, oh man, like, I don't even know where to begin. We're watching it again, I can tell you that. Everything, why is this not liked? Everything about that was perfect. I got, I got so emotional in the middle there, I thought that I was about to cry. Like, the amount of nostalgia, like the, the, the amount of nostalgia that that sound, the moment that we got like, do, 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 the moment I heard that, the amount, but Jess, Jess, only Aussies would know, bro. Only Aussies would know. It's Future Music Festival in an MV. Or Stereo Sonic or something. It's just, man, like the amount of nostalgia I felt wash over me just then when I heard that pre chorus is insane. It's immeasurable. This song is the type of song that you play at an outdoor festival at night. It's the last act to come on. It's the last act that's about to come on. And you're literally just like, you're looking up at the sky, you're looking up at the stars, and then all of a sudden, bam, they're on stage. It's real moody. They come out with this. The bass is like ringing in your chest, like ringing, vibrating. And all you're doing is you are literally just jumping like an absolutely freaking maniac. You are just jumping like a maniac. You've got a whole crowd of like real sweaty people around you and you're just jumping like a maniac. There's like streamers and like glitter and the, like the laser show and everything that's just going off. It's popping off the moment that that chorus hits. And that is where that just took me. That took me all the way back there. That was a sound, it's Hardwell Days for sure, KO. That is a sound I have not heard in K-pop properly done for such a long time. That is a sound I have not heard done properly in K-pop for such a long time, man. Such a long time. I don't even want to get started about how they look visually because it's death. It's, it's just insane. It's purely just insane. The energy of this song is nuts. The vi yo, that part where Shihyun is car like she's got the flag, like where she's got the flag, and it's just purple and like I can't wait to go back and talk. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just go back and talk about it there. I'm gonna pause. This is the review section. Fuck man. Three, two, one. It's amazing. This is incredible. The masks that they've got on. Also the way. I want to talk really quickly about the song structure because bro I thought like I, how, you know how interesting it is that they've got the chorus literally 23 seconds into the music video like it builds up and then it's I'm a pirate yeah yeah like the way that that builds so quickly and then you get taken out of that and then you get taken into the next verse but you're not entirely sure where you are and then you remember oh shit this is the build like when Shiyun comes in you go oh this is the build this is literally structured like an EDM song. This is not structured like a pop song. This is structured like an EDM song. It's incredible. I don't care. It's actually probably one of my favorite Everglow titles, period. 
I love this. Oh, we're your lunatics. Your lunatics. Also, I shall look so powerful. Da -dum -da -dum -da 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 a pirate, yeah, yeah, a pirate, yeah, yeah, a pirate, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see this perform. Hey, hey, dude, Everglow are a movement. Oh, dude, hey, that bomb, bomb, bomb. Here, I was getting so confused. Here, I was like, what is this arrangement? Where are we going? Oh. Yo, oh. yo, yo, that beat in the back, it's just that euphoric EDM. It's like 80s, it's like 80s in Everglow. And Zed's gone and produced it. Like, that's what this sounds like. Hey, hey. It's like if the 2013 DJs owned a K pop label. Oh, kill this EU. Oh, dude, get on with the red. Yeah. Oh, this sounds so mental. Crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh, dude, this is such a fucking jam. Hey, hey, Mia is insane. I'm not ready. Oh. Yo, this scene, this scene is insane. This scene is insane. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. Oh, this scene is mental. Look at this, man. Look at the CG that goes into this. Look at what she's on. She's the queen of the fucking universe. She's wearing cheat code knee-high boots. Red boots. Red boots. Oh. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts bad. Yeah. Look at you. Oh, she's so beautiful. The bangs, oh my god. Onda. Onda. Onda ga onda. She's coming. Oh. These effects. Oh. Hey, hey. your vocals oh lord save me hey hey pirate dude get on with this hair oh oh to listen to how wild this beat is going the little little the scaling oh man i'm sweating so hard right now i literally don't know what to do with myself Oh my god, December is up to such a mental start. Such a mental start. Oh. Like, this literally just... I want to be in a club, or I want to be at an outdoor music festival just ripping my head off to this. Like, I want to just be outside just absolutely going crazy to this. There's a mosh pit. Oh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. To see this performed in a concert would be insane. I don't know how you would survive. I really don't know how you would survive seeing this in a concert, if I'm being very honest. You know, how would you survive seeing this in a concert? This performance has got to be crazy. 
the stage for it will be insane. The fact that they literally committed all out to an EDM style track and they've created an MV like that. The way that they've literally come together and you've merged Bonbon Chocolat Everglow with like Adios vibes as well behind the music and then also ATs as Wonderland in terms of the concept. Pushed all of that together and you've just thrown that out is perfect. But also on top of that, the fact that this sound makes me so nostalgic for an era that I miss so much, that I forget about so much, warms my heart and causes me pain at the same time. Because dude, like, it just, I like, it's just such a perfect take on an era of music, especially as far as EDM and just electronic music is concerned. It's just a take that has been done to perfection for K-pop. And I don't think that I can say that I've seen another group do this sound quite like Everglow. And I don't think that we will. It's done. I'm done. This is crazy. I don't understand where Everglow's discography goes from here. How they get better. First is still an absolutely incredible song. It's still in my top 10. Still. But now this joins it. Does this join it or does this kick it out? I don't know. All I know is that this song is crazy good. It's, it's hype. It's exactly what I love. It's exactly what I love. It's hype. It just ticks so many boxes for me. I can't wait to listen to this. I can't wait to listen to the album. The B-sides are going to be mental because I know, I already know that there are B-sides that I liked more than the preview of Pirates. So Lord, where do we go from here? Please tell me. Have mercy, Everglow. We of ours crazy. Give us a studio album. I need one. We need one. Honestly, we need one. Bro. <sighs> Tell me what you guys thought down in the comment section below. I'm really excited to see and hear what you guys have to say. All I have to say, though, is that this, this comeback is mental. It's the 1st of December. It's the festive season, and this is how they open it. Everglow are truly doing it like no one else. We had Dun Dun and La Di Da last year. We had First and Pirate this year. What on earth is happening? Like, where is the fourth generation of K-pop going? What on earth is happening? I'm so lost and confused and I'm, I, I feel like a, a kid that's lost in the shopping mall, right? I can't see my parents. I have no idea where they are. But I am surrounded by like arcades and games and shit. So I'm kind of not worried. I'm lost. I'm kind of scared. But I'm having so much fun. <sighs> Yo, this has just drained me completely. Completely drained me. Anyway, look. Uh, reaction to the album is going to be over on Patreon. Go and check it out. If you guys enjoyed today's video then definitely make sure to subscribe for more Everglow reactions because there'll always be Everglow reactions over on this channel. There is a ton of stuff that I need to constantly keep on getting into as far as variety and reality is concerned so that I can actually move towards like hard standing the actual members a hell of a lot more. I do not deny that they are absolutely insanely talented. Insanely talented. But like, I, I really can't wait to get to know them a hell of a lot better, y'all. I really can't. Uh, but their discography still sits at that alt level for me with this it's just it's it's hard to beat first do you know how difficult it is do you know how difficult it is to release a song like first in the earlier part of that year of this year and then try and top that do you know how almost impossible that is to try and top first it's crazy Anyway, let me know what you guys thought. I'm very excited to hear your thoughts. But until next time, take care of yourselves out there. Stay safe. But most of all and above all else, stream the hell out of this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.